Well, it's a windy morning outside, so we've moved into the greenhouse here. We've got a whole selection of plants to show you, things that you can look for in garden centers in the next week or so. And of course, as you see here, we have some beautiful bleeding hearts. The old-fashioned bleeding heart, which is part of the Handpick for You program. The brand new or relatively new form of red bleeding heart. This one's called Dicentra Valentine with its deeper red colors. And then, of course, there's the little beauties that are known as the compact growing bleeding hearts. And what's interesting about these is that these are developed from native species. The first two I showed you came from Japan originally. That's where the species is native to. But this particular one here is a beautiful variety called Dicentra Luxuriant. And what's interesting about this one is that it's thought to be a hybrid between two native species. The one that grows here on the east coast, the fringed bleeding heart, and the Pacific bleeding heart, which lives, of course, on the west coast. So this is a hybrid between the two, as far as we know, that has gorgeous ferny-like foliage that has a bluish green cast to it. And then in early summer, it'll start to produce these dangling little lockets or bell-shaped flowers that sit up about 15 or 16 inches above the foliage. Wonderful plant for a shady or partially shaded site. And unlike its Asian cousins, this one will hold up and keep flowering all the way through the summertime and into the autumn time, providing it's got plenty of retentive moisture at its roots. This will keep flowering right through the entire season. That's one of the things about this variety. First of all, it's called luxuriant because it has all of this luxuriant growth but then produces these flowers that just keep going rather than going dormant in the middle of the summer. Now, one thing I said about it is to put in retentive material at its roots. This is organic compost, leaf mold, something like that. When you plant it, it's important to try and keep this so that it's got adequate moisture, not wet, but adequate moisture at its roots during the summer months. If it's in a drier situation in the middle of the summer, it will start to go into a summer dormancy mode. But keep it nice and moist, mulch the ground, and you'll find that it will keep on growing and very importantly, keep on flowering, producing lots of these gorgeous bell-shaped flowers. Hardy to zone three, very easy to grow, and just like its Asian cousins, also not eaten by deer, so it's a very useful plant for a shady or partially shaded site. This is Dicentra luxuriant.